it's very important to understand that the treatments we have available now, as of 2009, are all symptomatic. That means all of the treatments we have treat the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. They don't treat the disease itself. The disease process is a disorder in which certain brain cells are being affected, they're being damaged, and some of them die. The medications we have for treating Parkinson's disease all treat the effects of damaging those brain cells or those brain cells dying. They don't necessarily, as far as we know, restore those brain cells to better function. Therefore, when you take a medication to treat Parkinson's disease, there should be some improvement. If you don't feel some improvement, then either the dose of the drug needs to be increased or a different drug needs to be used. The medications were, were maintaining me, uh, so I was able to work. The symptoms, the medications pretty much took care of the symptoms initially, but over time the, the symptoms would get worse and, and uh, the doctor would try different medications or increase the, the medications I was on. In Parkinson's disease, the brain cells that are most affected by the disease process make dopamine. So all Parkinson patients have a shortage of dopamine, and L-DOPA helps the cells that are still alive and working make more dopamine. It's our single best drug for treating Parkinson's disease, and all other drugs are compared to it in terms of how useful they are. There are several other types of drugs that work like dopamine. One group is the dopamine agonists. These drugs produce similar benefits to L-DOPA, although not quite as potent, uh, and often produce more side effects. They have the benefit, however, of causing far fewer long-term side effects. So they are often preferable to L-DOPA, especially in younger patients. An old class of medications are the anticholinergics, which are primarily helpful for tremor and rigidity. Uh, unfortunately, they cause many side effects, including constipation, dry mouth, blurred vision, and memory impairment that often make them difficult to use, particularly in older patients. There are drugs that we use to increase the duration of action of L-DOPA or increase its potency. These are drugs that interfere with the breakdown of dopamine in the brain or the breakdown of L-DOPA in the bloodstream. These are uh, COMT inhibitors, that is they block an enzyme that breaks down the drug. Other drugs that keep L-DOPA and dopamine from being broken down are monoamine oxidase inhibitors or MAO inhibitors. Mm -hmm.